Welcome back to the Crypto Wild channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum has finally broken this uptrend to the downside, but Ethereum has run into huge supports at this level just here, which is a level that we've been discussing on the channel for the past few days. And later in this video, I'll be covering some other important Ethereum charts that we need to be paying attention to, and price patterns that are still playing out, and entirely new price patterns forming on the chart right now. This video is an important one to watch all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this valuable information. And just just before we jump into it, you might as well leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more update videos just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. It's right here we're on the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the 12 hour time frame, And this is the upwards trending parallel channel that Ethereum has been in ever since the beginning of October. So basically we've been in a very nice uptrend for around one and a half months. And if you measure out that gain, that was over a 70% gain to the upside in just six weeks. So the fact that Ethereum is finally getting a pullback now, this is perfectly normal. And in fact, if Ethereum kept going to the upside without getting a correction sometime soon, that would not have been normal and not have been healthy for this uptrend. So even though we've broken this upwards trending line of support and on the smaller timeframes, technically speaking, we are in a bit of a downtrend in the short term right now. If you're looking on the big picture, like the 12 hour chart and the daily chart, the general direction that Ethereum is still trending in is to the upside. So above anything else, just keep in mind that a bullish trend can always have short-term pullbacks along the way. But anyway, if you've been on the channel over the past few days, over the past three to four days or so, I have been discussing this line of support coming in at approximately 4.6K. And I've been mentioning over the past few days that while Ethereum is remaining above that level, we're still looking really good for the uptrend. But if we break below that exact level, that is when I'll be targeting some lower levels on the chart. And this exact level right here was one of the levels that I've been mentioning on the channel over the past few days. And if you're wondering what that is, just bringing out the Fibonacci retracement talk from this low down here at around 2.8k up to the all-time high. That is literally the exact 38.2% Fibonacci level coming in just below 4.1k. So we were expecting major supports coming into play right here, this exact level. And if you don't believe me, feel free to go back on the channel and take a look at my Ethereum videos over the past few days. But just zooming in even closer, you can see how important these Fibonacci levels are and just how accurate that they can be. So this is still the main support level that I'm paying attention to right now for Ethereum at just below 4.1k, more specifically around 4,080 US dollars. But if Ethereum does end up forming a new low, if we break below that important support, then we do have the 50% level coming in at just above 3.8k. But really the next most important Fibonacci level to the downside is the golden pocket coming in at around 3.6k. So if we do end up breaking back below the 38.2% Fibonacci level, which by the way is the second most important Fibonacci level, then it could be quite possible that we could be in for a 3.6k Ethereum down towards that golden pocket. And that will be acting as even bigger support than the 38.2% Fibonacci level. But keep in mind that does not come into play, obviously, while Ethereum is still remaining above the 38.2% Fibonacci level. And now zooming into the four hour chart for Ethereum and bringing out some indicators. For example, here is the 95 exponential moving average on the four hour chart. And right now that is coming in at just above four and a half thousand US dollars. And previously that was providing support for Ethereum in that previous uptrend. But now that we're zoomed in to the four hour chart, technically speaking, Ethereum is currently in a short-term downtrend if you're looking at the lower highs and lower lows and the fact that we've broken some important support levels. But keep in mind, this downtrend is only in the short term because it's only visible on the smaller timeframes. When you're zooming back out to the 12-hour chart, the daily chart, and anything bigger than that, then this downtrend is not really visible at all on those larger timeframes. And looking in the price oscillators, first of all, in the RSI, we are currently in oversold territory, which for the beginners out there, that means that the price has gone too far to the downside too quickly as a result of over leveraged long positions getting shaken out of the market or panic sellers or a combination of both. So this just means that we're due for some sort of bounce sometime soon. And that's basically what Ethereum is experiencing right now, considering the fact that we have formed a huge week to the downside. And just zooming out on the charts, the last time Ethereum was in oversold territories on the four hour RSI was all the way back here towards the end of September when Ethereum was at around 2,700 US dollars. And at that stage just there, Ethereum was actually bottoming out, getting ready for another major 
major move to the upside. But keep in mind, just because we're in oversold territories right now, that does not mean that we're at the bottom for the correction. That just means that we're potentially at a bottom and we could be due for a little bit of a bounce here. Because for example, if you're looking at the entire correction that we saw during September, there was actually two times during that same correction that we entered into oversold territories on the four hour RSI. And so obviously that first time wasn't the bottom for this correction because the price ended up forming a lower low later on. But with that being said, the fact that we were in oversold territories just there on that first dip to the downside, that was telling us that we were due for some sort of bounce sometime soon. And that's exactly what we saw there in the short term for Ethereum. So quite possibly over the next one to two days, I would expect some sort of bounce here for Ethereum, not necessarily a full recovery because once again, this does not mark the bottom, but it does give us a short term buying opportunity like back here, for example. And now looking in the four hour MACD, that bullish cross that we saw yesterday pretty quickly flipped into a bearish cross. The moment Ethereum started breaking back below some of these important support levels like the 95 EMA. And if you watched yesterday's Ethereum update video, I'll fully admit I was looking at all of these previous bullish crosses so far in this uptrend for Ethereum and comparing their gains. And in that Ethereum video that I posted yesterday, I said that on average, Ethereum has around a five to 10% gain after we see a bullish cross, at least out of all of the bullish crosses that we've seen in this uptrend. And so clearly this bullish cross underperformed what I was expecting yesterday. But if you measure out from top to bottom, that was still a five and a half percent gain, which was towards the lower end of the spectrum that we were talking about yesterday between a five to 10% gain. But yeah, as of right now, once again, we have seen a short term bearish cross showing that we do have a bit of short term bearish momentum. But keep in mind, we are in oversold territories in the RSI. So the downside in the immediate short term is is limited while the RSI is at these levels. And then after we see a bit of a consolidation here or a slight bounce back to the upside, then that's when the RSI would come back to the upside and possibly give us room to the downside for one last dip, like what we saw during September, for example. But on pullbacks like this, it's very common for Ethereum and a lot of other altcoins out there to follow what Bitcoin is doing. So for those of you that missed my Bitcoin update video, I definitely recommend checking that out after you finish watching this video, because in my Bitcoin video, I discussed possible price targets and timeframes that we could be looking at for this correction before we start bottoming out and heading back to the upside again. And just zooming out to the daily time frame for Ethereum to compare the current bull market to the 2017 bull market. I've been discussing this exact Ethereum chart right here over the past four days on the channel. So the subscribers would already know about this, but for the new viewers on the channel, the green price action just here, these green bars, that is the 2017 price action. And the candlesticks is obviously the current price action for Ethereum this year. And what we can see on this chart is the fact that Ethereum was following the pre previous bull market that we saw back in 2017 very closely this time around up until the beginning of October. And that is when Ethereum finally started diverging from the previous bull market. And so when you're looking at this gain that we've had over the past six weeks, approximately, we did not see that gain in the last bull market. So I've been letting you know over the past few days that right now Ethereum is ahead of schedule for this bull cycle. And I've been saying out of all of the possibilities for Ethereum, one of the most likely scenarios is Ethereum has a bit of a call off here to come back and meet the 2017 17 bull market again. So the most bearish scenario is if we see a bit more of a pullback to the downside towards the lower $3,000 prices, and then some huge gains start kicking in after that. And then the more neutral scenario is if we enter a sideways consolidation over the next few weeks to come and meet the 2017 bull market over here. But when you're comparing the two bull markets, the most bullish scenario possible is if the price action that we're seeing right now is actually this price action that we saw in 2017. And in that case, Ethereum just skipped all of this sideways price action. And so straight after this pullback that we saw in September, we basically began this uptrend that should have started in December according to the last bull cycle, but instead started immediately after the September correction leading into October. And I want to hear what you think about this in the comment section down below. Do you think Ethereum is going to come back down to meet this price action that we saw back in 2017? Or do you think Ethereum is possibly right now where we were right over here in 2017? And we're actually much closer to huge gains than we all think. Once again, just let me know what you think in the comment comment section down below and I'll be checking a lot of comments on this video. And just quickly covering some Ethereum patterns, staying on the daily time frame for Ethereum versus the US dollar, we still have this huge cup and handle pattern playing out right now. This cup and handle pattern will only be invalidated if either we hit the price target or if we break back below this neckline. And right now this neckline is coming in at just below 3.9k and the price target for this pattern is coming in at around 6,200 US dollars per Ethereum, which by the way, from the current price of Ethereum at the time of this video to that price target, 
is around a 46% gain, which is obviously a huge opportunity. And now that we're seeing a pullback in Ethereum, this is giving us an even better entry point into the market for some of these bigger moves that are still potentially playing out right now. But now taking a quick look at Ethereum versus Bitcoin on the four hour charts, because right now we are forming a descending triangle pattern, which technically speaking is a bearish pattern. So that just means that it is more likely to break to the downside, but it's still not impossible for this pattern to break to the upside. I want to make that clear. In fact, roughly around three times out of 10, this pattern breaks to the upside and about seven times out of 10, it breaks to the downside. So that's why it's called a bearish pattern, just because it's more likely to break to the downside. And by the way, the resistance is currently coming in at around 0.072 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And the support is right now coming in at around 0.07 Bitcoin per Ethereum. So if Ethereum starts breaking below this support line with confirmation, which sets up a price target to the downside, which is coming in at approximately 0.066 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And just measuring out that move, that would be around a 6% pullback for Ethereum valued against Bitcoin, which if that plays out, that would just mean that Ethereum would be underperforming against Bitcoin by 6%. And by the way, if you want to stay up to date at all times in these markets, definitely make sure you follow me over on my Twitter because I've been constantly updating you throughout this entire correction so far. And by the way, the link to my official Twitter account is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. But anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed or got something valuable out of this video, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. We are fastly approaching 90,000 subscribers on the channel and I can't thank you guys enough. Seriously, I appreciate every single one of you. And before you click off for the new viewers on the channel, make sure you check out one of these uploads if you haven't already. I've got a trading tutorial video showing you how I trade crypto over on Bybit and I've got a passive income video showing you how I earn passive income every day on my crypto holdings. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.